Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. Closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. What's the rush? Just don't want to waste any more time. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with a family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Glad to see you're doing so well, Scott. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. We 
We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down and give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Everything looks good from here. Just say the word, Ryder. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. I wonder how fast that engine core clocks in. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, and keep any specimen safe. Hey. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder running a ship? You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized. For a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? I guess we have to be. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest. Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. Initiative. 
Initiative Habitat 1. Designated EOS. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? I could stand here and drink in that view all day. When I was test piloting the ship back home, I often did. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. What can I do for you? If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory. It was quite the effort to get her working. The initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? Buy. Legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask. We're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into forty-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. Sixty pages. That's... 
a lot of pages about dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. But don't you want to experience everything firsthand? I know I'd want to. Oh, absolutely. But I know my strengths. Trust me, I'm far more useful to you in the laboratory. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. I haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Hey, can you drop by the bio lab? Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? Maybe. What the hell was that? <sighs> I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to all this. I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick though, like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. You were a second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you? An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. 
So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Back again? What did you do while you were part of the Asari military? Four years in a commando unit called Ta Lane's Daughters. Part of the Council's cross-species military integration initiative. You probably had a more exciting time defending that Arcturus relay. But we did good work. Peacekeeping is a full-time job, even in Asari space. What was your commando unit like? Janae and I were the youngsters. Tethys was our old lady sniper. Kalia patched us up, and Valenza prayed between firefights. Our CO, Nasira, led us all over the Athena Nebula and beyond. A huntress's work is never done. Who'd pick a fight with the most powerful species in the galaxy? Themselves, usually. Terrorists, cults, rogue Ardot Yakshi, people demanding a withdrawal from the Citadel. The Asari were spacefaring when our Roman Empire was new. Didn't fix all their problems. Sometimes you need commandos for that. You were in the Alliance before you became a Huntress, right? What made you join up? My biotics. I was still living on my parents' cargo freighter when they manifested. Untrained biotic power on a starship means accidents. But we couldn't afford a tutor. The Alliance had implants, the training, everything. Old history now. Your turn. Remind me why you came to Andromeda. I spent years watching pioneers go through the Arcturus mass relays. Off to glory while I stayed behind. Then Dad's career collapsed. His AI research made him too toxic. I heard. Must have changed everything for your family. It was time to forge my story and my horizons, and to give Sarah a shot at making the discovery of a lifetime. So, Andromeda. None of you writers ever think small, do you? Did you come out here with anyone? Maybe someone you served with? I had my fun on shore leave. <laughs> Nothing serious, though. Asari huntresses figure things out, but I was there for soldiering, not romance. You're not technically military anymore. Can't get anything past you, can I? After four years with Asari commandos, you must have some great war stories. Hmm. Uh, Nasira assassinated a Krogan warlord with a pack of playing cards once. A pack of cards? Choking hazard, apparently. Wow. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. storage if you need me.
Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Wanna see how the riffraff are making out? Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, things might start falling off the tempest at the most inopportune times. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. I doubt you were the only one. Yes, but it's a new thing for me, regret. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties, no real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. You mean how jazzed you were that a Pathfinder showed up? Tomato, potato. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? I hear we have you to thank for getting the Tempest space ready so quickly. Vetra brings her impossible feats to me. I was itching to get this particular call. Capital R, ready. Don't tell her, but the truth is, I fudge reports to come in early, then bust ass in secret to make up for him. Expands the Gil legend. Plus, I convey calm and assurance, and the whole team relaxes, which helps them do their jobs better. What's your social circle like? I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. How tough has it been on the Nexus all these months? Have you ever eaten overcooked space cow tongue? Can't say I have. Well, let me tell you, it's tough. Wondering if you're gonna die from a critical malfunction, or maybe starvation? Imagining which would be worse? But hey! You could always take a break from the fear and boredom to dwell on being a part of the biggest failure in galactic history. Maybe even participate in a revolt. What was your take on that? I didn't place any bets, if that's what you're asking. Truth is, I don't think anyone made out particularly well. Whatever side you're on, you die a little when your brother, your teammate, becomes an enemy. We traveled all this way, all hope and wonder, and we end up fighting with each other over scraps. It's sad. Seems like we have a good group here. Well, Vetra and Suvi are my girls. Get along well. Lots of mutual respect. As far as your Hyperion peeps go, the doc's kind of nosy. Liam's good for a laugh or two. Cora, she's a bit by the book for me. Need somebody to keep the zoo in check. Zoo? You, you calling me an animal rider? Uh... Ooh, can I be a mongoose? They're like cool cobra killers. No, wait, how about a crow? Smart, irreverent, obnoxious. That's it. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> what about Callow? He's a pilot. Which means... He flies the ship. We're leaving it at that then? Does a Pathfinder know what to do with a dead end? Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? 
And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. When I started with the Alliance, it was about adventure. But with my dad's troubles, staying wasn't going to work. I needed something new. But if I wanted to get away, it had to be this far. Gotcha. Clean slate. Classic. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. Talk to me. We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. All right, I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did, but it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie frustrated by procedure? That's overdone. I know, right? I wanted new, and I got it. And that led me here. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel, Dad, Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That... Might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Traditional is a weird term for family. Like normal. Who's that describe? I suppose you're right. I sure didn't keep to tradition. I said goodbye to my mom and dad and got on a ship to Andromeda. We'll talk later. I know it. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation? I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Ability to haggle with the locals? Great. But please tell me you're also good in a fight. Like I said before, 
Wrangler, provisioner, gunner, and everything in between. I do what I have to. We all have a personal stake in this. If it keeps going the way it's been, we're all dead. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. Hey, Ryder. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something big, with creds behind it. I asked and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. You're pretty familiar with the ship. I made sure the technicians had what they needed to keep the Tempest ready and waiting. Leadership wanted to strip her for parts, but I kept saying, a Pathfinder's gonna show up. I like being right. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? When you promise people golden worlds and all they get are wastelands and a death cloud, they riot. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers, and a couple just wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the Exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the Initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. You know Sarah's the good one. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. That's a very... specific topic. I grew up on Omega, lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan, Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Need something? I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory, things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a... memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel, from when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI 
and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. How long have you and Harry been friends? I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. We met at a medical convention on the Citadel. He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low-gravity environments. His name card was crooked, but he was so damn confident I knew we'd be friends. So how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Hello, Scott. It is interesting to be renewed. How do you mean? Since my creation, I have been Alec Ryder's Sam. Now, I am your Sam. I am still myself, but now the input and experiences I have are completely new. I will develop in a new direction. The term reincarnation seems appropriate. Being linked to me is a totally new experience? You and Alec are unique individuals. I can now see the variations that define you. I look forward to our continued partnership. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my service in Samnode on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Let's say hypothetically, I was out sick the day they taught quantum... <clears throat> uh, embezzlement communism. Via entangled subatomic particles, it's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. 
It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A Neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Is it confusing to be in multiple places, talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more.